Next up, we have the winner of the health and wearables category. It's Sound Scout. This is Adam, a young man I met delivering firewood. Adam was thrown out of school at 15 for being disruptive, and it was all because he couldn't hear. Each year, there's around 285 million children disadvantaged by undetected hearing loss. These children, when their hearing loss goes unnoticed, suffer from, oh, sorry, <laughs> they miss out on learning, they miss out on social cues, and this inevitably leads to low self-esteem. And yet, today's approach to checking a child's hearing remains expensive, tedious, and often unavailable. That's set to change. I'm Carolyn Mee, founder and creator of Sound Scouts, an algorithm-based hearing check integrated in a game. Developed in collaboration with Australia's National Acoustic Laboratories, Sound Scouts is capable of checking for three different distinct types of hearing loss in any quiet place. Children play the game on a mobile device with headphones and each interaction collects a valuable piece of hearing data with all results available online. The Australian government has lent support with a million dollar grant. Our National Hearing Service recommends Sound Scouts and we've attracted attention from international scientists eager to work with us on the localised models. And that's because of our team, including the internationally renowned Dr. Harvey Dillon, the ex-CEO of Cochlear, Dr. Chris Roberts, and past employees of Morgan Stanley and Microsoft. In Australia, we're generating sales by the App Store and Google Play with a plan to roll out globally. Parents pay $10 per test session with awareness driven via social media. Schools and clinics and clinicians are also key markets developed via direct contact. And we have a product in development for the aging adult market. Nou, op zich denk ik dat die technologie uh, uh, heel interessant is. Um, ik zie alleen niet, de wijzer, hun, hun payment model was je moest per sessie betalen, geloof ik dat je. Uh, dus, um, en ik denk dus dat dat, dat is gewoon niet iets. He, dus het lost het probleem niet op. Het probleem was dat, um, dat kinderen die hearing loss hebben of potentieel hearing loss hebben uh, uh, eigenlijk naar een dokter toe moeten om, dat, om die test te kunnen laten doen. Um, maar nu is er nog steeds een barrière om dit te gaan doen. Want je moet namelijk betalen voordat je het mag doen. Uh, dus, dus er is nog steeds een barrière voor, voor kinderen of voor, voor ouders om dit met hun kinderen te gaan doen. Dus dat zag ik op zich niet zo zitten. De technologie waarschijnlijk is heel goed. Het is gewoon, als ik daar 10 dollar voor moet betalen voordat ik een, mijn kind mag laten testen, dan ga ik dat niet elke, elk jaar lopen doen. Nieuwe. Dan ga ik dit goed naar de dokter toe. Hello everyone, my name is Oscar, founder and CEO of Thimble. Through a monthly subscription program, we're providing a simple way for kids to have the basic skills, tools and projects that is sparking and inspiring the next generation of inventors and innovators. Jobs in electronics are projected to grow almost 50% by 2020. Despite good coding and STEM programs out there, most of the 135,000 schools here in the US do not have the modern training, tools, or curricula to teach students practical skills necessary to succeed in the digital economy. So we're stepping into this 51.1 billion e-learning market to teach students the fundamentals of electrical engineering right in the comfort of their own home. Thimble teaches anyone how to build electronics. Through a subscription, each month, you receive an orange box in the mail with all the parts you need to build a fun or useful device. It could be a robot, an alarm clock, you can even build a quadcopter on your own kitchen table in just a few hours, no experience necessary. This is Erector Sets for the 21st century. Every project you receive has been carefully curated and designed in a way to maximize fun and learning. Our learning platform has easy to follow tutorials and an active community forum where subscribers can collaborate and exchange ideas. We launched on Kickstarter, where we raised $300,000 from 1,800 backers in just 48 hours. We also launched an online store afterwards, raising $150,000, and we delivered our first project in December. We now have 1,100 subscribers in all 50 states, 34 countries spanning seven continents, and we're growing 35% month over month. We realize it can be difficult selling to schools, so we're working with corporations who are pushing for engineering workforce development 
and are partnering and supporting their local schools. We have over 10 years working in higher education and for companies like IBM, Intel, and GE. Thimble is improving science education by making it more accessible. We will be the brand that tomorrow's tech leaders fondly look back on as their childhood inspiration. Thank you. Ik vond het heel leuk, de, maar misschien omdat ik zelf engineer ben. De, mijn eerste vraag aan hem was, kunnen ook volwassenen deze doos krijgen? Ja. Uh, dat is, het is gewoon heel fun. En ik kan, als ik mezelf als, als jonge, jonge experimenteerder uh, terugkijk, ik had graag elke maand zo'n doos gehad. Ja. Uh, uh, plus het is gewoon, de dingen die ze erin doen zijn gewoon interessant. Hè? Dus je kunt daar dingen in die doos stoppen waar, waar je normale zullen we zeggen, kinderspelen niet, niet aan toe komt. Dus het kan heel topical zijn. Het kan iets zijn over solar energy, of het kan iets zijn met robots, of het kan iets zijn met voice, of, of wat dan ook maar. Alle dingen die soms echt een beetje spelen in, in de technologiemaatschappij op, op dit moment, heb je een kans om in die dozen te stoppen. En uh, ja, ik denk dat dat gewoon heel motiverend is. Was het het allerbeste? Nou, misschien niet, maar I really loved it. En ik heb al opgesigned voor. Dus ja. ja. Dus ik ga nu elke maand een doos krijgen.